Number three, the function fx equals x squared over x squared plus one has a, b, c, or d. Now, we first, first of all have to find the first derivative, uh, and we can use the quotient to find this, but there's a neat little method that we can use here. And that is this, I'll start off by writing down the function. Function x equals x squared over x squared plus one. Now, I'll rewrite that as x squared plus 1 minus 1 in the numerator. And then I can just split those up. Write it as x squared plus 1 on x squared plus 1 minus 1 over x squared plus 1. So this function now becomes 1 minus, and this of course becomes x squared plus 1 to the minus 1. Now we'll differentiate that. The 1 goes out. This comes down, becomes positive. So it becomes x squared plus 1 to the minus 2 times 2x, which is 2x over x squared plus 1 all squared. Now we'll let f dash x equal naught to find the max minima. So we have 2x over x squared plus 1 on x squared equals 0, which means that x must equal 0. And of course, putting that back in the original function, we get that function x must also equal 0. So the stationary point is 0, 0. Now we won't use the second derivative because, again, it's too long. We'll now just test either side of the point. So we've got an x here. This is a 0. This is my f dash x. Now it's minus, say, 0 0.1. And that's 0 0.1. Clearly this is a negative, And this is 0. And this is positive. So we have, in fact, a minimum turning point, which, of course, is a.